Takashi69 got a huge break today. I feel like they scared me, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. He was sentenced uh, for the kidnapping and robbery and all the other stuff. He could have he could have been in prison for 47 plus years. He got two years and he got credit for time served, which means Takashi69, after snitching on all the gang members, uh, he's gonna get out next year. Uh, the question is, his safety, because he says he doesn't wanna go into witness protection. Uh, he's gonna be doing community service, so presumably he'll be out in the open, 300 hours of community service. What's interesting about this is he benefited by snitching for sure. I mean, two years versus 47 is huge. Does this encourage other gang members uh, to snitch uh, when they are facing sizable sentences as well? The jury is out on that, but it certainly worked for Takashi. It'll be a co-parenting Christmas for Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott. They'll spend Christmas here in Los Angeles with their daughter Stormy, and they realize the importance of the holiday. Now that she's getting a little older, she can make the memories and remember that mom and dad will be around. However, while they will be co-parenting, we're told they still aren't officially back together as a couple. However, the door is still open to that possibility. So we know Kylie and Travis have been getting along great from Travis cohabitating at Kylie's house to her taking Stormy all the way down to Houston for his music festival and then spending Thanksgiving together. So our sources are confident they'll be in good spirits spending Christmas together. Adrian Broner has just been hit with a huge judgment in his sexual assault case. A judge has ordered him to pay nearly $830,000 to the victim. Now this all stems from a June 2018 incident where Broner allegedly uh, aggressively approached a woman and shoved his tongue down her throat. All of a sudden, I'm laid flat on my back and he's on top of me, literally all in his body weight, and just starts kissing me. It wouldn't stop until a friend ripped him off of her. Now, the woman approached cops and also filed a lawsuit. There was a hearing in Ohio on Tuesday and Broner decided not to show up. So the judge handed down the hefty punishment saying hopefully this deters him from acting up again. You staying out of trouble? Y'all gotta ask me the white questions, man. Broner has made a lot of money in boxing, but it's no secret his career is on the decline. So this is going to be a huge hit to his bank account.